Now, some people think that my hearing impairment is a handicap. Me, whenever I'm with the Italian side of my family, <laughs> we're talking a perfect gift here. Can you imagine a hearing impaired child who is just learning how to be left and to be with a bunch of Italians whose mouths are going 80 miles an hour? And the hand. Heaven only knows what the hands are saying. I myself was just learning sign language. I figured, well, maybe they're signing with a lift. One of the first times that I did learn as a child was good morning. And I have to tell you, as a kid, I was so excited that I could communicate that the very next family reunion, I went up to everybody and I signed, good morning. <laughs> I guess you can't say they're not morning people. My hearing impairment is not my handicap. Being sexually frustrated, now there is a handicap. I've not had a date in three and a half years. Now I don't know if it's because I haven't heard the phone ring or what. But I too would like to hear what my date said to me at night. But I just can't hear in the dark. So I wear a little miner's cap with a bright white light right here. One of my favorite things that I love is when a man kisses me on the neck. Oh yeah. Works his way up to my ear, sticks his tongue in my ear, and gets electrocuted. <laughs> then I wonder if the phone doesn't ring, huh? You guys want to hear some good news? Yeah. Good news is they did come out with hearing aids for my particular hearing loss, and I have been hearing new sounds for the last 18 years. I have thanked God and every little Japanese man that crosses my path. These are the hearing aids that have the computer chips inside the hearing aid. The com computer chips were designed by AT&T. Now they're charging me for every freaking word I hear. One of the first times that I didn't hear were the birds. And I tell you, I cried like a baby. I was walking down that street and I heard that little bird and I looked up in the tree and I just said, damn, birds are difficult to lip read. They've got these tiny little beaks. And when I was a kid, we used to go camping all the time, and everybody would piss and moan and groan. Who can sleep with all these damn crickets? <laughs> but when I heard my first cricket, I went looking all over for it so I could lip read this little box, you know? I got the tail end of it. Go ahead, lady, lip read this. I had a difficult time locating where sounds were coming from. Like the first time I heard myself pass gas, I love that Pascal. She's such a good little fighter, isn't she? So when the first time I heard myself Pascal, I answered the phone. <laughs> Look, at life is precious. Tonight is a dream come true for many people with hearing losses. Please tell all your friends and family to go see the film. It's important to educate people. There's nothing wrong with being deaf, but there's everything wrong with not being able to communicate. This film is solely about communication. Let your heart always speak. May God bless each and every one of you, and thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you.